And uh, here we have a dragon board. And uh, hi, so what are you doing? What are you showing here? So we're showing uh, Cody with hardware accelerated decoding on the dragon board. So on the screen, you can see we have the latest Mesa driver. And we building Cody from the master branch. What's the Mesa driver? It's the open source GPU driver for the graphics chip present in the CPU. So uh, this is uh, which, which uh, this is a 410C? This is a 410C, yes. So you're not using the GPU, uh, the free Duino? This is the free Duino driver, yes. That is part of uh, Mesa. So, part of Mesa, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so okay, let's introduce, so who are you? Uh, I'm Jorge, I've been doing the video for Linux uh, support on FFmpeg, um, using the driver that is standard written. Yeah, I'm Stan. I'm uh, writing the, the, the upstreaming the, the the video for Linux driver. So, uh, so we are using the hardware acceleration from the board. And who are you? you? I'm Kun, and I did the build system integration for all this to make the demo possible. Uh, so, uh, video for Linux is pretty hardcore stuff, right? Is really hardware accelerated awesome stuff? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, it was also very interesting being able to merge this into FFmpeg. Uh, the community was very uh, accepting of all the patches and all the, the process were, were pretty smooth. So everything is upstream now. That's a good thing about uh, what so you see. It's smooth? Yes. And when we open the prayer process window, the thing to pay attention to is that it says Video of Linux to Memory to Memory. That shows that it's uh, using the hardware accelerated decode. So what, what was the way to do it before? Using proprietary drivers and yes. stuff? Yes, so proprietary drivers, but Qualcomm uh, stand wrote a driver. The driver is in mainline Linux now. And uh, Jorge pushed the driver support into FFmpeg. And someone else on the Kodi side, Lucas Rusak, uh, wrote Kodi support and we integrated that. So hopefully we get it upstream in Kodi soon as well. So you don't have to patch anything, it will just work. Yeah. So this is awesome stuff, right? Yes. It's cool. It's, it's cool. It's it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, what does it mean to have an open source video decode? What does it bring to the world? What, what's very important about this? You can up, you can upgrade your kernel when you want to what you want. It gives you more freedom. You're less locked to the vendor, and if you find a bug, you can actually actually fix it. There's, there was this thing with many people were installing like Ubuntu or Debian and stuff on these boards and like, ah, there's no video decode, right? That was the issue every time? Yeah. Yes. But that's not going to be an issue anymore. Yeah, it's fixed now. It's fixed now? Yep. What, what more is it to do if you say you fixed it now? What's the next? <laughs> Tuning, tweaking, and uh, make sure that everything works. We have tested uh, the easy things like H.264, but for the other boards, uh, they will s support other codecs, and those need to be tested. How, how is it possible to, to make sure this is going to work with every ARM SOC? Is that possible, or is it only for this, dra uh, this Dragon board right now? Uh, um, video of Linux 2 is a kernel standard. Uh, Google wants to move to that, so the idea is, and the Kodi people want to move to that as well, that if you talk video for Linux, it will work regardless of the SOC you use. Yeah. Is this happening soon? Um, I hope so. I mean, that's not to say that some of the video for Linux driver that exist, uh, they, they might be bugs. So it's not going to run smoothly in every platform. We cannot guarantee that, but it should. That's, that's the beauty of it. Which part of the SOC is being used? Is it G GPU only? It's a sp special part. It's, the, it's a special section for video decoding. Uh, it's kind of like a DSP or something. It's like a video encode, a decode engine some, somewhere. Something, something like that. It has to be this. It cannot just run on GPU. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. In theory, you could use a GPU to decode it with shaders, but this is way more power efficient. So how about VP9, uh, H.265, yeah. everything? Yeah. Um, well, this particular board doesn't. I think it doesn't have su support for H.265 or BP9. Is BP8, MP, MPEG4, uh, H.263. All that's there encoding and decoding. The H20, basically the same software runs on the H20 board that we have over there. There you have a H.265 support and BP9 and you know, some other some other encoders and decoders. And is it easy to just hook in and take advantage of that software when it's there? Yeah. yeah. And uh, everything works. But uh, what is the kind of work that you've done? in the before Linux 2. So, what, is, what is that software and where does it go exactly? We can go for the bottom up. I mean, Stan did all the driver support. Yeah, I'm uh, writing driver and uh, rewriting the, actually to, to fit the, to the upstream standards. For the Linux kernel? Yeah, for the Linux kernel and for, for video Linux adaptation. 
uh, we found some uh, uh, actually we found some uh, gaps in the video frame score. We fixed them uh, and to support our driver. Uh, and yeah, we support the coding and coding. Uh, on this board and to, on the H20 also, we use the same driver. Uh, yeah, that's it. Then, then from the driver, uh, we have a FFmpeg uh, project that uses the driver capabilities and uh, enables encoding and decoding from user space. And this is why later on Kodi can, well, Kodi and any other projects can use this uh, FFmpeg uh, interface uh, to access in the same way every single uh, hardware encoder or decoder. Encoder and decoder. And decoder yeah. Yes. So it's the whole world, it's everything people want. Yes. And uh, this stuff easily hooks into the uh, browser when you go on a... If you check a YouTube video on, on, on the browser, is it going to use any of this stuff? Chromium has an FFmpeg backend. I'm not sure if that's set up to use Video for Linux, but yes, that's the idea. The, 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 the idea is for Google for Chromebooks, that if you have an SOC to put in a Chromebook, it needs to do V4L because that's Google all wants to support. So everything inside the, the OS just gets video acceleration, hopefully, easily. Yeah. And then that will be a, a, an issue of the past So I think so, so hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, so what's your background? Have you worked a lot with codecs and stuff? Uh, I've done a little bit. I mean, I worked many years with uh, Xerox here in the US, so I know a little bit about video and uh, imaging, uh, more imaging than video. Uh, Stan has much more experience on the yeah, internet. Yeah, uh, most experience in video for Linux and, uh, and in lots the of stuff kernel dri drivers at all. And lots of stuff with video codecs and decoding and stuff? Yeah, that's my first uh, time I'm uh, having uh, to do something with encoders and encoders, but I'm trying to understand everything. Uh, yeah, I actually have some experience with, uh, again, with video for Linux, but for the capture, for the cameras. Uh, mm have been part of the upstream from drivers in the, the video for Linux for So cameras like the one I'm using right now, how does it encode the video? Is it a FPGA? What is this? what's going on it's in there? Have have an ASIC in there. An uh, ASIC? I'll, yeah I would think so. Yeah. And is it running an open source software or never? Your Sony camera? I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe not. I'm not sure. That's it? Maybe? Well maybe. Sony cameras usually run Linux but you never know it. It, it boots yeah. up in like a second. Yes, if you see Tim, Tim Bird around, uh, ask him. He was in charge of the camera things a while ago. And uh, you are you love this kind of uh, uh, um, Kodi kind yes. of things. Yes, it's uh, it's uh, what I use at home to uh, to consume my media. So I'm happy that it now works, and I can, uh, if I wanted to, can replace things by dragon boards. So you want to send a message to the Kodi community? What do you want to say? Welcome. Welcome, thank you. <laughs> thank you, but also uh, here it is. Yes, right? the, the, here it is. It, 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 it works. Please uh, accept the patches when they go upstream. <laughs> cool. And you're going to meet them soon, uh, the Cody? They will be in Prague at ELCE. There will be some Cody uh, developers and we're going to meet up. Are you going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there as well. Yeah? So what are you going to talk with them about? Oh, we don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Know. What's next? Uh, 8K. World domination. <laughs> World domination. <laughs> well, the A20 can do 4K. So, what do you think about Cody? I love it. Yeah. I, I really like it. I'm very impressed. It was uh, very smooth the whole process and uh, the merging and the build system is good and uh, it's a very good. Cool. Very good I don't product. see any dropped frames at all. Everything's working, right? It plays back really, really smoothly. Cool.